No. You've got to be kidding me. I can't. I can't read this. Do you even know these people? No. <sighs> Come on. This happens often? All the time. That, oh, man. I'm... Wow. This is a look at a couple of very powerful PSAs featuring Sportsnet Central's Ivanka Osmak and Faisal Kamiza. Today is International Stop Cyberbullying Day, and Ivanka joins me this morning to talk about Sportsnet's Not Fair Game initiative and to tell her personal story around the negative impact of online abuse. Good morning to you, Ivanka. Hi, Leah. How are you? I'm very well, thanks. You know, I watched these PSAs this morning, and I actually mm -hmm. got very emotional watching them. How do you possibly deal with this on a daily basis? You said it happens all the time. Yeah, it does happen all the time. I mean, I definitely cannot repeat some of the messages and comments that I have received. I can't do that on air. Um, but I'm the first to admit, I love social media. I'm a big fan of Twitter, Instagram. I use it daily in a professional um, view and also, also in personal. I love the way it connects me with viewers and with my friends and family. However, there's a really ugly side to social media and that's the part obviously that I don't like. I enjoy the debate, I enjoy healthy conversations, but when it turns sexist and derogatory and discriminatory and just just angry and hurtful, that's the stuff that's not okay. And so that's where this not, uh, not fair game really stemmed from, is we went to Scott Moore and Sportsnet and said, this happens all the time and it's not right. And he 100% agreed, thankfully, and, um, and they're throwing this, their support behind this and it's just terrific. And we really hope that other people will get behind it because the social media community is a good one. It's just those, those bad apples. Absolutely. Why do you think those bad apples say things online that they would never walk up to you, for example, in person and say to your face? That's just it, right? I, I, I never hear. I have never heard something like that to my face. Um, I, I guess, you know, you go to they're hiding behind a monitor or a keyboard and they feel invincible. I don't know. Um, but we want to put an end to that. And so, so if we could you know, not only protect more people online, because, you know, I have a tough skin and it's certainly gotten tougher over the years, but it, that still doesn't mean it's okay. But I think about the kids and I think about our youth who perhaps are seeing the same kind of messages. And when you see that on your phone or when you see that on your computer, it's really lonely and it's an isolating place. So Not Fair Game is all about, you know, bringing people together and perhaps an outlet for us to rally behind. Absolutely. You know, the other thing that struck me watching these PSAs is that the people seeing this abuse, they were really taken aback and they were really shocked. Do you think people really don't have an idea of what you're seeing on a daily basis? I, I think for the most part, yeah. I remember having the conversation with my, my parents, my mom and dad, and they could not believe the stuff that I was receiving and um, and they didn't really understand why. Why would someone even send that out to you? Why is it necessary? Does it make them feel better? So um, so yeah, it, it is, it's really nasty stuff sometimes. It's sexist, it can be racist, and it makes you want to walk away from social media. But, you know, the good side is, is that it, it can be used as a good tool. And so this is why we are encouraging social media platforms like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, etc., to promote healthy behavior on their platforms. And that's what we really want to do. Okay. Ivanka, thank you so much for sharing your story with us. And let's get that hashtag Absolutely. out there again. Thanks, Ivanka. She's joining thank us live you. from Toronto this morning. And again, that hashtag is not fair game.